I do prefer a more grown, elegant looking look. <laughs> so yeah, this is me dressed up for you. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Teresa Winfred, but you can call me Terry. If you're seeing me for the very first time, I thought to, you know, introduce myself. Um, yeah, for today's video, wait, before we get there, um, I just wanted to appreciate Hey, said Mahaji. I just wanted to appreciate every single one of you, 3,540 something <laughs> subscribers that are now subscribed to my channel. <sighs> well, thank you so much. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, I thank you. <sighs> I love who also got monetized. It's been a week since we got monetized, guys. This is your week. So now don't skip the ads, Tafalali. Don't skip the ads. Your girl has a big appetite. I need to eat, so just skip ads. <laughs> okay, so um, for today's video, I thought we would do... I thought I'd share with you content that I really enjoy. Um, and this is just some of some of the content that I really enjoy. I Now that I think about it, I think at some point I'm going to do like a Kenyan version of this. And because... Um, I've noticed in this uh, time of quarantine, I've noticed there's a lot of YouTube, a lot of YouTubers creating co Kenyan YouTubers, especially so, so, so many. So I'm going to like sift through some of the ones that I really watch and then maybe I can categorize them for you and see uh, where they sit in the future. Not right now. So for now, I have one, two, three, four, five, five categories. I have them in this little note thingy. They're just papers. I put them together with this thingy. So yeah, um, yeah. I mean, if you still have time, I mean, things are getting, things are slowly getting back to normal. So I should have done this earlier, <laughs> maybe. But if you have the time, uh, then these are, these are check out worthy. No, <laughs> this is worth your, this will be worth your while if you check them out. Also, if you like my content, then, um, uh, I, I reckon you like those as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So I'm going to start with uh, spirituality. And when I talk about spirituality, I basically mean uh, Christianity because that is um, the religion I ascribe to. I believe in Jesus Christ, that he came uh, to earth to die for my sins. Uh, he died, he was crucified, and he was he resurrected again and that is why my faith is very sure and I have hope in, in seeing him again so yeah um, I'm gonna start with spirituality so if you're looking to grow in your faith to grow in your walk with Christ then the Bible project is okay so I have one two three four I have four four channels that you can check out so one the Bible project is very oh it's beautiful with how it's like they've done the research for you on the different kinds of books so they put it together they answer so many questions like um what is who is the holy spirit uh uh the book of it analyzes books for you and they have this animation thingy that brings out the point perfectly this was very <laughs> This was very instrumental for me um, as a believer. Still, at a today, I enjoy them because it's very visual and audio as well as it's very well thought out. Yani, the wordings of it, wordings, the lessons, the teachings, the wordings, everything is very well structured. It just brings the point home, Kabisa, because sometimes, unasoma, haingi, man. So it's a good, it's a good, um, yeah, it just pushes you towards, ah, oh, this is what it means. So now you dig deeper into the word of God, you read further, and now you start to understand it better. It is important, personally, for my learning style. I am um, uh, audio visual, mostly visual, visual, experiential, and audio. Audio visual is in a audio visual and experiential learner. So this was very perfect for me. You need to check it out. Just check it out. If you have a question, type it in Alafandi Kapo, the Bible project. They probably have <laughs> content that will help you uh, with that question you have. Ah, yeah. The other one is David Pawson. <sighs> you know, he just passed on the other day, on the 21st of May 2020. Um, so, yeah, that's a bummer. But when you Google him, 
I love how he has done um, a walk through the Old Testament. So when he's teach, he's an amazing teacher. Him, I think I can, I will, I will rightfully call him a teacher. Does he preach? I mean, it's more or less the same thing, but he's more of like a teacher. When he sits down, or rather, when he's standing to like uh, take you through the Bible, there's a whole map. He shows you how they moved from this place to this place. Ah, kind of the way he's done the Old Testament is just. It's amazing, it's beautiful. He helps you understand it better. So when you're reading, there's a whole context that you're going with. And he is British, I don't know if that helps. I don't know why I had to throw it out there. But yeah, he's he's pretty good. I, I love him for that. He really walks you. Amazing. I love who the other one is Prince Solomon. Now, this is just a young guy who is very gifted with words and he, he speaks from someone who has done due diligence and he has researched enough to yani anakuletea package vizuri well packaged he is very good with words he's gifted with words and he uses that gifting for the lord so if you're into like poetry um spoken word he sings too i believe so and he's so cool alafu he's cool you're like akimwangu situkwe tu na hiyo version kenya Anyway, so eh, uh, Prince Salmon, really cool. If you're into poetry and um, spoken word, he, he's good. He's a Christian, so Christian content as well. Okay, uh, and then the other one I found recently is Aneco Press. So Aneco Press is a channel that has um, audiobooks, Christian literature audiobooks. So I found it recently i fell in love with it i loved it i've listened to a couple of books over there and i recommend that you go listen to those books maybe on my channel i can no no maybe not because there are so many books that i'd love for a christian to read a be new believer been a believer for a while anyone just if you're a believer anyone there are so many books i don't even know where to start on sovereignty of God, on what, on what, just go there, go one at a time, pick them out, and I'm sure like with each book, or rather, apart from, apart from the Bible, every other source of information should point you back to the Bible. So if you're reading these Christ Christian literature books, it should ideally point you back to the Bible so that you get to hear directly from the Word of God, yes? So me, they're just aiding tools, they're not what makes you you know just <laughs> the aiding tools i hope to make one up okay so um that's it on the spiritual slash christian content now i am going to move into um <laughs> fitness <laughs> so fitness this one's uh two channels that i've come to love uh of recent and i like them for different reasons i mean when it comes to fitness in a loyalty i just if I want a 20 minutes uh, car workout real quick, I just look, no, no, hmm, in a kind intermediate, I think I can do this, na click, so it's in a loyalty per se. But this too, I've been watching, um, watching sometimes doing <laughs> in the last uh, couple of months, no, in the last couple of weeks, and I have really enjoyed them. Now, Chloe Ting, I like that she has so one of them is Chloe Ting, Ting like C H. I'll I'll leave a link of all the channels um, in the description box so that you can check them out, and I'll put them in categories so that you can check them out. So yeah, Chloe Ting, and it's a Ting. She's a coach. She's a painting. <laughs> uh, Chloe Ting um, has. I what I love most about her is that she has um, videos of people who have tried out her program and have worked out. So she goes through them. She reviews them. She's like, oh yeah she did that yeah you go girl so she's just watching back people who have tried and recorded uh one of her programs and they have succeeded and for a majority of them they have succeeded and they look like genuine people genuine everyday people who have tried her program and they've worked through so i mean worked through worked out so yeah i i love her for that and she's very real because i remember watching her back in one of the vlog-ish content not when she's dishing out um exercise material in one of the vlog style 
video that she was doing i remember she mentioned how um those that she's going through a phase where she's just eating right now i think one of the weeks or months during quarantine she was just eating she's let loose kidogo she's put on a bit of weight and she's saying that that's normal it happens the body fluctuates sometimes and that's not necessarily a terrible thing to experience so i like that she's very open and honest and real with it so yeah uh chloe ting and then the other one is mad fit my goodness this guy looks so fit and then i okay so one of the one of the style content she has on there is she does like a song long of workout does that make sense a song long of content let's say like uh how great is the lord sing with me how great oh our god yeah some wordings were off and i was like doesn't sound right anyway so she it's not christian music unfortunately but she has these songs um like from the time the song starts mbaka musho she has like a workout routine unafanya and you feel like wow this is just three minutes i can do this she makes it look easy i tried like two three of them and i was like you have lied to me you have lied to me no because the workout was a bit intense and she looks like she's she looks very fit she looks very fit. I think she was a dancer in her other life, like ballerina, something. I don't know. Could she, she looks so good and so fit. I recommend those ones. Those three minutes workout can really get to you. So if you play that like two, three times, so that's that counts for rep that, no reps, yeah. So that counts for repetition, and you're building muscle. You working out and it's seemingly fun because the music is nini pop and nice and hip and. For three minutes it doesn't sound like a very long time so you can push yourself and say yeah we can do this so unaji unaji bada tu unaendelea hiyo unaendelea i don't know what that expression is but yeah um so now we're done with two categories that's fitness and spiritual now next i'm gonna move to um, next i'm gonna move to sleep and meditation so there's this <laughs> there's this uh content creator that for me i feel like she just cuts across all of them apart from perhaps financial content and and uh, fitness apart from those two she she cuts across all of them her name is girl and word you know i'm just realizing it is not any one i'm okay for the most part fitness woman woman Bible project is a group of people david post and okay that's a man and echo price maybe i don't know who that is prince okay a guy okay okay maybe there's balance maybe maybe there's balance <laughs> but yeah um so her she when i say sleep and meditation it is meditating on the word of god not hum <laughs> not do i have anything against it i mean if you're doing it um fully aware of what you're doing because you know with like yoga and meditation these kuna kwangana to issues kidogo the background for practicing those were not necessarily christian if anything it opposes the values and some of the values and uh teachings of christianity so yeah you need to be very careful if you choose to practice yoga and meditation and all that but the meditation i'm talking about is um on the christian on more the meditation i'm talking about falls majorly on the christian aspect so that is abide so uh, these i have two i have two channels for sleep and meditation so abide it's just really the word of god being read to you so in answer you could come down they talk you through sujinini it's just breathing exercises it talks what does it have breathing exercises no it doesn't have I, wait it's been a while i think though it this i only listened to it i know i'm subscribed to it but i've only listened to it say three four times when i was struggling with sleep and it really was uh, helpful so it points you back to the word of god and it reminds you he gives you he gives sleep to the ones he loves and he takes you through the psalm or another bible verse and it's just really nice it's soothing yeah because you come at one on gelesh and then you can just fade away into the when you're thinking about these things just fade away into it yeah so the other content creator on on uh sleep and meditation has is mostly on meditation in in a sleep 
is just abide abide is really good for that because i know people are going through uh some people might be going through a really rough time and sleep might be an issue so abide i found was a very good um a very good place to just be reminded of god's promises and take it through the psalm and just slowly talk talk or rather read <laughs> slowly talk you and read you into the reminder of god's promises and who god is and then when you're in those thoughts you you just fade away yeah into your sleep so uh, it's bible it's more on meditation so her name is Gal and Word. Well, her actual her channel name is Gal and Gal and Word, and um, her name is Anna. She recently got engaged. I'm so excited for her. So yeah, um, with her, she is a very good storyteller. She constructs her sentences and stories and puts them structurally. Who carabuning away? She puts them structure. I shouldn't have tried the second time, you know. Yeah, I was pushing it. Anyway, and as he construct Visuri Sana, that and then the tone of the voice that she uses is very relaxing and very gentle, and you can she just uses kindness and the love of God and hey, now Penda Udim. So her name is Galen Ward. You need to check her out and yeah, she's starting a meditation. A is it a devotional or like a I think it's more of a devotional. She's doing. She has a meditational slash devotional um, content that she does outside. So, wait, does she? Did she start it? I'm not sure if she did. But yeah, girl and word, you need to check her out. Amazing storyteller. Um, yeah, and on. I'm gonna touch on finance before I go to um, consciousness level. So finance only have two channels. I haven't really sat down to like really come through because I've subscribed to quite a number of people. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just didn't look through them deeper. I but this too, I always find myself whenever they whenever new content is up, I rush to check it out. So yeah, our Guinea is here and there. So maybe that's why I'm not even recommending them to you. So yeah, um, on finance, there's a very Kenyan-owned brand, Centonomy. If you're not following Centonomy, then I don't know what you're doing with your life, honestly. Unless you're already a millionaire, you already know how to work with money, how to make your money work. Unless you already know all those things. But really, can you ever learn enough? I mean, I feel like with these things, they there's never really, you can never say you know enough. You keep learning and growing. So, you know, so with Centonomy amazing and i love that they have this um youtube channel where they also give very meaningful and helpful nuggets on this channel so you can kind of almost feel like you've been to the class someday eventually maybe i'll go through the class um but yeah i'm uh i don't know i will maybe i don't know but yeah they give amazing contents cool so the other one is tfd TFD stands for the financial diet. Now, I love her. She's not Kenyan. She is abroad, I think, Canada, maybe. Yeah, I think she's Canadian. She is in her early to mid 30s. So she's very young and bubbly and relatable. Her sense of humor is very quirky. I love it. Um, and she tells you the real things like she, as she goes, as she moves along with life, she enlightens you and she brings on people to also have conversations about these things, you know, uh, financial literacy, um, things that she wished she didn't buy in her 20s, things that she wished she would have bought and how those things are affecting her. And just like recently, I think she did like a video where she's regretting some of the things that she had mentioned at first she found useful. So yeah, it's... She's very interesting. Again, I think her personality just sold her to me. And I'm like, yes, you. We are going with you <laughs> in this journey of life. So yeah, for finance, I only have those two. Those two that I am a regular of. Zingine just here and there. So on um, raising our level of consciousness. So these things, for some people, these are the soul feeders of how they live their lives. For me, Christianity 
marks and shapes a big form of how I live my life, my values and everything, Christianity. Then all these other things that raise our level of consciousness just come as aiding tools to what already shapes and informs who, what and where I want to be or intend to be. I don't know. Eh, Christianity. I love these other things I pick bits and bobs over there that helps me do better Christianity. I lead a better and meaningful Christian life. You get what I'm saying? Yeah? Okay. So like something like minimalism. I won't say I'm a minimalist because I'm a minimalist. I'd say I'm a minimalist because with um, Christianity, wastage is not necessary. It's not a good thing to just go about wasting things. In the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, what? In the Old Testament, um, when guys were pruning their land or harvesting, they'd always leave some on the ground for guys who were the the lowly in the society. Those were widows and uh, orphans to come and pick from them. It was quote-unquote illegal for them to harvest everything so like with minimalism you only you are only required to um consume what you need and like it keeps you very so minimalism is not exactly what informs who i am but christianity informs who i am so minimalism comes to help me tag and pull the things that I need to do away with so that I can make my walk with Christ even better for myself and others. Okay? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, just comment in the comment section below and I'm more than happy to expound a little bit more. Okay? Cool, yo. So, oh my gosh, I love this. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, Gal, Gal and Word is still appearing on this side. <laughs> so, yeah. She's a very conscious person. Again, we share in the same belief. Uh, we are both Christians and values are just the same. So I, she's highly favored amongst these people. But yeah, uh, girl and word, I've already told you about her. So yeah. And then uh, the bucket list family. Oh, so you see with them, they travel the world and they involve their kids with everything that they do. So it's just a very beautiful family oriented kind of situation. Uh, do I be, do I follow their again? This is why I had to explain why Christianity informs, you know, new koju. It informs everything, and then this other small two bits I can just come and pick out. So like uh, with the bucket list family, they travel all over the world. The kids are homeschooled. They get to see the world. They are taught life skill and life lessons as they go. These are some of the things that I'd like to inculcate. Inculcate. Wow. Wow. Hey. <laughs> anyway, these are words, I mean, words. These are life lessons that I'd like to um, input and impart on uh, my kids when that time comes. I'd like to equip them. I'd like to be able to travel with my family. Um, ideally, I'd love to homeschool, but I don't know what that will look like in the future. But yeah, you know, just ease of it too. Again, remember. Christianity informs everything. I love Uiya, but especially on this side, uh, raising our level of consciousness, Christianity. I mean, e, raising our level of consciousness in Akuja, but it just helps with my walk with Christ. Okay, so um, that's the Bucket List family. It's a family-related content. If the name doesn't give it away, um, Bucket List <laughs> back at least the name gives it away you know let me not repeat myself alafu uh the school of life is it the school of life i'm a school of life school of life i think <sighs> so uh in another life i honestly feel like i'd be a philosopher somewhere because matters to do with how people reason how people think and just people in general really excite me and i want to know more tell me so why like answering the question what is okay cool but if you can answer the question why to the things that you're doing and how you're doing them i love you <laughs> so yeah the school of life has so many content when it comes to even things and questions like uh why do we hurt the ones we love these are whole study and a whole research done about that and it's in the videos are pretty short so in like 
maximum i think 10 minutes video you can learn the whole psychology of how people think the way they think and v2 too i love there's also um things like uh philosophies different philosophies at different times um it's you need to check out the school of life it's it's really it really panwas your buongo. That's what I mean by raising our level of consciousness. Yani, psh, just broaden your mind on uh, matters and things that are around us. And what that does for me, and especially as, as a Christian, I feel like that helps me understand people a little bit better. So I'm able to extend grace towards them. You get what I'm saying? So when we are commanded to love people, and then uh, the... What? the school of life or this other content has helped me to understand ah maybe this is why they're doing this and this and that so like ah okay so i watch a tuning mombe and then maybe i can help them in this way that way that way that way that way so you know you just you're just a wholesome human being <laughs> at the when you meet christ and bongo in a panuka you're just a very and it is christ that enables you bongo to panuka otherwise it's not a mindless practice let me just tell you that and then um the other guy oh the other channel is oh love it matt diavela i think um he is i think he's like a film cinematography film like he's in the film world and he's also a very good storyteller so how he's a minimalist as well so the way he structures the content he does a you can tell this person does a very good um takes a very big chunk of time to research on the topics that he's talking about and then the way he structures them and puts them together and now gives it to us as uh youtube content like when i grow up i want to be able to do that <laughs> when i grow up i want to be able to just do that yeah oh my goodness aki please just check this content out because because i i honestly feel like if you like my style of content or if you've or if you've liked my personality or just something about me then you like this content i don't know if that makes sense i hope it does but yeah let me know what you guys think when you check out these channels and um yeah let subscribe share comment Tell a friend, tell a friend, don't skip the ads now that we are being advertised and I'll see you all on the next video. I love you, but most importantly, God loves you. Okay? Bye!